Los Angeles, the capital of Southern California, is renowned for its celebrity culture, pleasant climate and diversity of experiences, from its star-studded beaches to the glamour of Hollywood. Visitors to Los Angeles who look beyond the flashing lights of Hollywood discover a city that is becoming more and more diverse, one that offers an astonishing array of dishes, historic architectural landmarks like the Griffith Observatory, and a wealth of outdoor activities like hiking, surfing, and horseback riding. The City of Angels never fails to make an impression or steal the show, whether you're lured to the beach, adjacent amusement parks, or celebrity spotting chances in Beverly Hills. If you are thinking about planning a visit for the coming holidays, why not visit these 10 places in the video? Let's get started. Number 10. Runyon Canyon Park Runyon Canyon Park, which is two blocks from Hollywood Boulevard, is a little-known urban park with some stunning views. The park is a favorite place for celebrities to work out and has a number of hiking trails. You'll encounter a lot of palm trees while hiking. You may enjoy panoramic views of the San Fernando Valley from the top of the canyon. Since it can get hot on the trails, hikers advise bringing plenty of water and going later in the day. Recent visitors had mixed opinions regarding the vistas and the lack of amenities. Every day from dawn until nightfall, anyone may enter Runyon Canyon for free. However, no one is on duty to keep these hours strictly adhered to or to act quickly in case of emergency. Number 9. The Broad The Broad Museum was established by philanthropists Eli and Edith Broad in 2015 and the building is a spectacular addition to downtown Los Angeles. The striking, honeycomb-shaped building, created by Diller Scafidio plus Renfro and Gensler, has a sizable collection of contemporary art that spans the years 1950 and the present. The collection includes pieces by Andy Warhol, Jeff Koons, Cindy Sherman, Kara Walker, and Jean-Michel Basquiat. Aside from the permanent collection, temporary exhibitions highlight up-and-coming artists. Recent visitors give the museum good grades, praising both the artwork and the building. The museum does not charge admission. However, some special exhibits might. Number 8. Los Angeles County Museum of Art The Los Angeles County Museum of Art, the focal point of the Los Angeles Museum area, is located right next to the La Brea Tar Pits. Thousands of items, including Islamic antiquities, European Impressionist paintings, and modern art, have been on display at LACMA since it opened in 1965. LACMA provides a pleasant experience for both professional art enthusiasts and casual tourists thanks to its distinctive design and regularly changing shows. The David Geffen Galleries, a new structure housing the museum's permanent collection currently under construction, is slated to open in 2024. The BCM and the Resnick Pavilion will currently host the item's exhibitions. Visitors can still view the levitated mass and urban light exhibitions. A restaurant and a grab-and-go eatery are on the premises. Number 7. The Original Farmer's Market and The Grove The Original Farmer's Market, one of LA's most cherished landmarks, is located south of West Hollywood. This 1934 establishment, which is cream in color, attracts both locals and visitors with the promise of fresh vegetables and the perfume of ready-to-eat delicacies. Although hours change depending on the day, you can visit any time during the week. Although admission is free, you should have some cash on hand in case any of the treats tickle your appetite. If your parking ticket is validated at the market, you may park for free for up to 90 minutes. Parking after the authorized 90 minutes and for invalidated tickets is subject to fees. You can also go on a narrated gourmet tour for some assistance navigating the market. Number 6. Sunset Boulevard Sunset Boulevard, one of the most recognizable thoroughfares in the country, keeps up with its reputation. In the past, it served as a symbol of the beautiful and traditional Hollywood lifestyle and served as the backdrop for a number of well-known movies, including the timeless Sunset Boulevard. The palm-lined boulevard still has a classic Hollywood feel to it today, and the Sunset Strip section has developed into a hotspot for nightlife. It connects downtown Los Angeles to Hollywood, Beverly Hills, and the Pacific Coast Highway. The Rainbow Bar and Grill and the Roxy Theater are just two of the many historic music venues that can be found on the Strip. Number 5. Zuma Beach Despite the municipality of Malibu's reputation for extreme luxury and exclusivity, everyone is free to visit any of its beaches. Look no further than Zuma if you're looking for a beach in Los Angeles where you can swim and sunbathe. Compared to Venice Beach or Santa Monica, this 1.8-mile beach is cleaner. Zuma Beach in Malibu is regarded as one of the best beaches in the greater Los Angeles area. Zuma is praised by locals and visitors alike for its great surf, lots of parking, and accessibility to beachfront food. Additionally, there are numerous lifeguard stands and restrooms. 
additionally offered are beach mats and wheelchairs. Zuma Beach is around 35 miles west of Los Angeles, but be aware that the Pacific Coast Highway can become congested very fast. Number 4. Santa Monica Pier and Beach One of the most renowned beach scenes in the country can be found at Santa Monica, which is located west of downtown Los Angeles. Additionally, it has a ton of fantastic dining establishments and exciting nightlife options. Due to the fine beaches, great weather, and abundance of attractions, its more than three miles of shoreline are regarded as some of the best in the region. The well-known State Beach, with its more than 300 days of sunshine annually, served as the setting for the hit TV show Baywatch. Number 3. Hollywood Walk of Fame and TCL Chinese Theater the TCL Chinese Theater, formerly known as Grauman's Chinese Theater, opened in 1927 and is one of Hollywood's most recognizable and unforgettable locations. It symbolizes the excess of the golden age of Hollywood. A 30-minute walking tour of the theater is available for $16. Tours are provided every day at various times. Because of how well-liked this attraction is, it's advisable to make your reservation online in advance. Throughout the year, this functioning theater also presents a number of recently released movies. Number 2. The Getty Center In addition to housing some of the finest pieces of art in the entire world, the Getty Center is one of the most remarkable architectural feats ever accomplished in the United States. Richard Meyer, a renowned architect, created the elongated concrete and steel building, which houses an abundance of artwork from diverse eras and countries. Renaissance paintings, American photography from the 20th century, Baroque sculptures, historical documents, and more are all kept at this expensive, cutting-edge campus in the Santa Monica Mountains. On clear days, the museum also provides breathtaking vistas of Los Angeles. Recent visitors praise the museum for its sizable collection, lovely gardens, and picturesque vistas. Some even said they appreciated the tram journey to get there. Many travelers advise going on a tour since they think the volunteer guides are informative. There are tours of the Getty Center's architecture and grounds, a collection highlights tour, and tours of art from particular eras. The types of tours have different times and days. For a complete calendar, visit the Getty Center's website. For self-guided tours, visitors can also download the Getty Guide app. And last but not least, number one, Griffith Observatory and Griffith Park. On Mount Hollywood's south face, Griffith Observatory offers a view of the Los Angeles Basin. Visitors can enjoy breathtaking views of the area from where it is located, which many laud. But this isn't simply a picturesque photo opportunity. The observatory has a world-class planetarium and presents exciting exhibitions. Although the free admission was undoubtedly a plus, the majority of recent visitors mentioned the Griffith Observatory's stunning location as its main lure. The planetarium programs, however, cost between $6 and $10 per person. That's the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel Travel Advisor.